Good afternoon, everyone. I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive. I'm joined here by uh, members of the LGBT community for a, a historic signing of legislation that was passed unanimously by the Westchester County Board of Legislators. Uh, we're joined uh, uh, by members of the legislature with us here. The Chairman Ben Boykin is with us. And I see a number of legislators, uh, Mary Jane Shimsky, Nancy Barr, Kitley Koval, uh, who am I missing? Uh, Catherine Borges is with us, and uh, we'll be happy to recognize any others if I've missed them. Uh, and we appreciate their legislative action on uh, legislation that was uh, submitted a while back and given a good opportunity to discuss in the public domain. Uh, the bill that I'm going to sign uh, in the next few minutes uh, is done today, LGBTQ Spirit Day. It's a day that's meant to bring awareness to the disproportionate level of harassment that's faced by LGBTQ youth. The new law outlines the practice of attempting to change someone who is. This practice is horrific because it often targets young members of the LGBTQ community. And uh, this law will protect minors from this practice. And the fact that this practice can have a long-term psychological and physiological impact on individuals. The practice of conversion therapy has been condemned by the American Psychiatric Association and many other similar mental health organizations. Uh, and other governments have also taken the same action that we're taking today to make sure that this is banned uh, within our home area. This practice is not acceptable. It is not legal. It is not right. And we will make, we will make sure that we don't stand for that here in Westchester County. I'm going to have a number of people who are going to speak and share their thoughts with you. First, I'm going to ask Chris Oldie, who's the chair of our Westchester County LGBT Com Community Advisory Board, to uh, join us. Chris? Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, again, my name is Chris Oldie. I'm the chair of the LGBTQ Advisory Board. Um, also, we have other members from the advisory board here. We have Rachel Simon. Um, we have the Red Reverend Jim O'Hanlon. We have Sam uh, Gomez de Spain and City Council Member uh, Michael Sabatino. On behalf of the LGBTQ Advisory Board, we want to thank the County Executive and the Board of Legislators for passing this crucial legislation. Conversion therapy is damaging and can cause long-term psychological and physical effects to those subjected by this to this practice. With this legislation, we can ensure that our minors in Westchester County are safe from this practice. Again, we want to thank the County Executive um, for listening to LGBTQ Advisory Board's guidance uh, that this law uh, needed to be passed, and in fact, it was passed. So we thank you very much. Thank you. I also want to make note uh, of our County Attorney who is here. He is a critical uh, a player both in advising the executive branch and separately advising the legislative branch on policy. And uh, there isn't a piece of legislation that doesn't go through here that doesn't go under his watchful eye. So we appreciate his professional involvement in these things. John Nona, our county attorney. John, thank you. I also want to recognize the uh, chief of staff for the Board of Legislators, Dennis Power, is with us. And our chief of staff here in the executive branch on the ninth floor, Andrew Ferris, is with us. <laughs> Director of Communications, Catherine Chaffee, is here. And her counterpart, Jason Chavokas, from the Board of Legislators. And I want to particularly point out Steve Bass, who serves as our uh, intergovernmental uh, liaison here in the executive branch to the legislative branch. Uh, he, he has pr uh, primary responsibility for county intergovernmental workings between the different levels of government. And Steve was an important element in bringing this issue to the fore and in helping us happen. Steve, we owe you a personal debt of thanks. <laughs> Next, I'd like to introduce uh, Kristen Browdy, who's an advocate and an attorney, resident of the town of Newcastle, active uh, in a variety of different civic and community affairs. And uh, we invite her to share her thoughts. Kristen. Thanks, George. As the county executive said, this is Spirit Day, a day on which we ask those in the community to stand up to talk about bullying and to prevent bullying. And there can be no higher form of bullying than conversion therapy. So we want to thank the county executive and the members of the legislature, Chairman Boykin, uh, the chairs of the various committees, including Chairman Coville, who stood up and did the right thing and got a unanimous vote, a unanimous vote. Democrats and Republicans stood up for the children of Westchester County. They said, we will not let our children get hurt this way. And that's a lesson they ought to hear up in Albany, where this bill's been stuck for quite some time. Democrats and Republicans came together here. It shows what leadership by our county executive and by our county legislature can do. Not a single vote against it, and there shouldn't be.
because our kids deserve this protection, and we are grateful that in Westchester we now have it. Thank you, Bo. Next, I'd like to ask Michael Sabatino to uh, address us. He is the uh, majority leader of the Yonkers City Council. Uh, he is also a member of the LGBTQ board here in Washington. I always have to, you know, the acronyms. I'm trying to let it roll off my tongue correctly. And uh, Michael has long been uh, an advocate and, a, and an activist uh, over and above his responsibilities in the city of Yonkers. Michael. Thank you. I just want to echo the, uh, the sentiments of my uh, the colleagues up here on the stage. Uh, this is really a momentous day for us because this is uh, a treatment that should never, ever be. And uh, I also want to compliment the bipartisan support that we had for this bill. And it was uh, truly amazing because, you know, uh, we were present at the committee meeting and there were uh, some legislators from the other side of the aisle that really didn't know what conversion therapy was. Um, so they were kind of looking it up as we were having the discussion and they were like, this really exists? And you know, how could we not support this? Uh, it's just a common sense um, you know, bill to support. I mean, our youth are precious. Uh, as you know, LGBT youth have a very high incidence of uh, suicide. And certainly this type of therapy is not beneficial to preventing that. Uh, and I know we have some youth here today, and it's great to be able to see youth here out and proud. Uh, we've had a lot of changes uh, in the last 10 years, um, and let's continue those changes. And I want to compliment uh, the county executive for really uh, standing strong and saying that this is something that we need to do. And I want to thank all the supportive staff and Steve Bass, who we worked very closely together with. So thank you very much to everyone that was involved with getting this important bill passed. Uh, we are waiting for Matthew Shurka, who is a uh, conversion therapy survivor, who is en route to join us, and we're going to ask him to share a few thoughts when he arrives. That may come after we complete our bill signing. Uh, I do want to recognize that we have rep representation here from the office of United States Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. Uh, who has followed this issue very closely, and can we thank you for your involvement as an individual on these things. Uh, we also have uh, another member of the Yonker City Council with us, Corazon Pineda, who's with us. The Corazon, uh, nice to have you here. We'll see a lot of Corazon in the days to come, but in her own right as an elected official and advocate for a good public policy. Um, I'm going to uh, sign the, the legislation. I'm going to invite uh, Ben Boykin and the other members of the county legislature to join me, and there are students and advocates who are going to join me as well. We may have a packed crowd. So be it. Come on up. Okay, I have before me here local law. Intro number 11022 of 2018. This is passed by the Board of Legislators for the County of Westchester by 17 votes for and zero votes against on the first day of October. It is signed and certified by uh, Sunday Vandenberg, who's the clerk of the County Board of Legislators. And on this, the 18th day of the month of October, uh, I'm fortunate that my signature will make it the law in Westchester County, New York. Yes, Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And, and if I may be permitted, I'd like uh, Steve Bass to please come and accept this pen for his outstanding work on this bill. Thank you. Mr. Chairman and any of our colleagues in the legislature? Well, I'm so glad that we were able to pass this by a vote of 17 to 0. That's what it's about, working together across the aisle for a cause that is so important to all the young people and minors in Westchester County. So again, when we first discussed the bill, as was said earlier, some didn't understand what it was about. But soon as they understood it, it was like, oh no, we can't have this in Westchester County and we're not gonna have it and now it is the law in Westchester, in Westchester County. So we're so proud to have that here. Thank you. Any good colleagues? Any colleagues? I'm good. You look okay, too, I? I, uh, as the chair, Kitley Coble, as the chair of the uh, 
Department of Social Services, it was particularly gratifying to be able to take this bill up and get the support we needed. But it also begs the question, why are we even here? Mm -hmm. I'm so hopeful that we can move along and continue to ensure that our vulnerable youth in this community and our vulnerable adults, frankly, get all the protections they need. And I think in Westchester County, we're progressive, and we're going to make sure that that's what happens. Thank you. In signing this bill today, we have both very positive and very negative signs. Um, as everyone said, the fact that this was unanimous and across all party lines was wonderful. And it's good to see that there is increasing acceptance of people for who they are in our society. On the other hand, I don't know what gets into people. Why would they even consider doing something like this? And it's really a terrible thing um, when you're talking about the reason why the LGBTQ um, youth suicide rate is so much higher. Some of it's probably due to gay conversion therapy or the terrible attitude that leads to the creation of it. And I'm very glad that we're able to take a stand here in Westchester County. And all of our LGBTQ youth in our county should know that they've got friends here in Westchester County government. And anytime they need anything or they want us to know anything, we're here for them. Any other legislators wish to make a comment while we're here? No. Okay. Okay. Any of our advocate friends who haven't spoken yet would like to make a statement, comment? We certainly want to invite you to do that. All right, we have not yet been joined by Mr. Shurka. Uh, I assume he will come, and at some point in time, any of our friends in the media that want to uh, interview him, he is a survivor uh, of this and probably has the most compelling story to tell at all. Uh, just before we um, uh, take questions, just uh, one comment of shared. Today's an interesting day in that we've had the opportunity to talk about uh, domestic violence and, and what our role should be in dealing with that. Uh, we will be dealing with the fiscal health of the county as one of the rating agencies have just uh, made a decision uh, in, in terms of our rating as we go forward on that. And uh, over the course of the last week, what we've dealt with in union contracts, what we've dealt with in terms of source of income legislation, uh, finalizing plans on the Miller House and West Help. Uh, those of us who were elected last November were given an opportunity. It was not a blank check. It was a promissory note. And each of us, the Republicans who were elected as well as the Democrats who were elected, promised to work hard. This is yet another day of that example. I treat the opportunity that you've given me, and I know all of my colleagues in elective office, treat it with great seriousness. This is not an opportunity for us to uh, you know, advance ideology or advance future ambitions. This is a chance to do right by the people of Westchester County every day. And uh, when I watch Washington and I watch other levels of government, uh, every morning when I come into this building and I see my colleagues in this building, I realize that, that we have a job to do, we have to do it well on our level, and we have to do it collegially. We have to do it not just because we have different responsibilities, but because we are our friends. And when we disagree, we disagree, but we don't turn it into the kind of um, awful mess that we're seeing at other levels of government. I'm very proud of this action today, and I hope that we continue to have the kind of uh, responses that we've had on issue after issue after issue after issue. This is what people expect out of government. They expect us to work hard. They expect us to work together. They expect us to be open to discussion about ideas and ultimately to act. And that's exactly what we've done today on this and on other things. And I, I commend my friends and my colleagues on the Board of Legislators for their efforts and our friends in the advocacy community for the work you've done and those on staff who've done professional work at every turn. We're very, very fortunate. I'm personally very, very fortunate to have all of these wonderful, wonderful people uh, to lean with and to lean on. And today is one more step in that direction. So with that, I'll open it up to any questions that anybody in the press has for myself or anybody else up here. We're happy to try to answer questions in this format. If you prefer to do any one-on-ones, you can do that with any of our friends who are here as well, if that's uh, appropriate. Any questions from the press? Is there a, a member of the youth who would feel comfortable speaking in front of everyone or we can do a one-on-one -on -one about uh, why you support this law? Um, Maybe a one-on-one. -on -one. All right. So, 
Okay, so you don't have to do it in front of everybody, but get ready, Rebecca Solomon. And you all see her on television. You know who you're talking to here, right? So uh, all your friends are going to see you, but this is a great opportunity for you to express what's in your heart and what's in your experience. So please make it a point to uh, uh, speak with her and answer any of her questions, okay? Any, any general questions? Yes, John, please. Just quickly. Uh, they want to stand over here. As you may, all may know, a film was recently released that depicts the horrors of conversion therapy. It's called Bo Boy Erased. And I only saw the trailer. I anticipate seeing the movie at our film center, but it's a great movie that shows the horrific effects of conversion therapy. Boy Erased is the name of the film. Well, with that, thank you all very thank much. You. And uh, anybody from the media, please feel free to talk to any of these five people. Thank, thank you all.